All right, we're joined now by Secretary General of the Jo National Congress. Uh, in the person of Barrister Bibo Bra Olubebe. Uh, thanks for joining us. Good morning to you. Uh, good morning yes. to you. Good, good morning, morning, Nigerians. <laughs> good uh, morning, sir. Looking at you, you look like you know a respected <laughs> elder of the Niger Delta region. We have had to discuss the activities of the NDA severally in the last number of weeks. And for some reason, we've not really been able to move forward in terms of finding out exactly why those people persist in their activities and what role, well, some say, you know, unsalutary role that the leaders and elders of the Niger Delta have played in translating some of government's interventions, you know, in the Niger Delta in a way that it affects the ordinary man on the streets. Well. To start with, mm. I think we need to put it in historical perspective. Um. There is a lack of knowledge of the agitation from the Niger Delta. That's the major problem. Mm. Secondly, the presidential aides or government officials mm. are not reporting the true situation on ground for fear of losing their jobs. Number three, there is a knowledge gap. Mm. There is a knowledge gap. I started as a youth and at Kayama we were tired we said okay for once let us make a declaration 1998 that was the Kayama declaration mm -hmm. under military bombardment we made a statement that the Ijaws the true Niger Delta people oil producing people want self-determination political and economic space and the opportunity to prefer plans for their own development sorry to cut you there when you say self-determination uh, the understanding of self-determination means you know uh, um, seceding from the whole is that what well, that's, you're that's talking about? Correct. That okay. is not correct. Okay. You see, that's why Need I said there is a knowledge that. gap. Okay. Both on side of government, mm -hmm. because of the paucity of official reasoning in Nigeria. We made a statement that, look, please, we want self-determination within the Federation of Nigeria that can afford us that political and economic space. Mm -hmm. Now, let me just start by referring to what did late Isaac Jasper Adakaboro fought for? That painful decision was reached by Boro after he was contacted. He said, well, yes, I've started. He declared the Niger Delta Republic. And after being approached by serious-minded government officials, led by late Obafemi Awolowo of blessed memory, he said, yes, there is the need for us to protect the idea of Nigeria. Boro went to fight to save Nigeria. Are you telling me that the Avengers or any Ijo youth or any Ijo person mm. is saying that what Boro decided to fight for is what we want to destroy? Why that are seems people to be not, what they're no, doing. That, why are Nigerians not sincere? Right. Have we lost history? Okay. The, in the First Republic, what mm. happened? Even politically, politically, mm -hmm. when the Northern People's Congress could not form a government and Nigeria was to move into crisis. Okilo, late Chief Melford Okilo, who won the only seats for the Niger Delta People's Congress, had to cross carpet to the NPC to, al to allow the NPC meet the constitutional requirement right. to form a government to save Nigeria Dr. from chaos. Rubebe, we must thank you for this bridging this uh, knowledge gap. We've, we've learned a lot this morning. But do you think uh, the way out of all this is through violence? Well, I want to just put on record that Nigeria, the Nigerian state's reaction to legitimate demand for economic and political space is what has led to this. Remember, Nigeria brought trumped up charges against Ken Sarowiwa, who fought for non-violence. When you shut down non-violence, what do you expect? Secondly, the issue here is the Ijaws are balkanized into six states. The Ijaws are balkanized 
fourth, fourth largest majority ethnic group is balkanized into six minority states mm -hmm. and superimposed with a minority within the minority status. They cannot even decide. The jaws of Ondo, in particularly the jaws of Edo, cannot even think of a local government, notwithstanding their, their population. Mm -hmm. There are fundamental issues. And what we need to address now is that when oil was found, discovered in Oloibri in 1956, yes. the job people, like all other oil-bearing people, uh, communities, thought that their lives will improve. Unfortunately, after 60 years of continuous exploitation of oil and gas resources from this region, what do we have? The legacy is bastardized dreams, mass unemployment, mm -hmm. lost primary occupations, poisoned rivers, stunted growth of our youths as a result, directly as a result of the oil and gas pollution. Okay, we get is all that. Is that not uh, the same story that, you know, cuts across the rest of Nigeria? I mean, when, when you say that, you know, the government's uh, reaction is what has led to this, you know, violent, uh, reactions uh, from the Niger Delta youth. Yes, indeed. Are, are you saying that the rest of Nigeria were not really um, sympathetic to the cause of the Niger Delta? And I mean, what do you make of all of government's interventions, the NDDC and all the other, you know, uh, attempts to assuage, you, um, you know, the anger of the Niger Delta, including the youth that seem to be at the forefront of this struggle? The oil wealth as oil production in Niger Delta has only enriched multinational corporations and Nigerian federal leaders, both some in military, others in civilian uniform. They have used the wealth to improve and develop and other regions mm. and neglected the actual people that produce the oil. Now the issue is, the Ijo nation was disturbed with this Right, this new wave of violence and the INC, the John Nation, the kings, as we speak, the see, Nigerians are not saying the truth about it, leaders are not saying the truth. The king of Baramatu, mm. the high chief, Chief uh, uh, Wellington Okrika, Alawi Bozimo, Justice FF Tabai, yes, the names of AK Osford, name them, everybody. The governor, don't we have a governor? There is a governor general of the job people who is the governor of Bialsa State. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why, when we now came together, no, this madness must stop because the just have not for once agreed to use violence or to break away from Nigeria. But what the simple message is, go and call for on unilateral ceasefire, which we did. And I was a spokesman on that occasion. Mm -hmm. At, after which President Muhammadu Buhari announced, accepted, did well by accepting the ceasefire. But he superimposed his own condition for two weeks. Which is what? Mm -hmm. Two weeks. The ultimatum mm -hmm. for two weeks? Two weeks and he traveled. And he traveled. Then after he traveled, what happened? Dialogue that was supposed to have, open dialogue that ought to have arrested or stemmed the new wave of violence. Mm -hmm. Government appointees, the president's appointees, started struggling for supremacy. There was chaos. The minister of uh, uh, Petro I mean, minister of uh, petroleum, minister of state, on his own, uh, making consultations or do whatever meetings, uh, transport. So there was chaos. Is that the only invitation yes. extended to the John Nation yes. was to attend the flag off of the Ogoni. remediation of Ogoni cleanup. And as at that time, there was a federal military operation going on. Our men and women were being killed. Okay, and you so, don't expect the judge okay, to dine so, with you so under if, the, if, the such if, circumstances. If the negotiation is brought back to the table and the president were to attend this meeting, would, would this put an end to all of this? Of course. And look, there is no Ijo man, no Ijo youth that is going to undermine the call for the governor general of the Ijo nation. But you do, the federal government should know that the governor of Bielsa state has the goodwill. So why is the federal government, why is Mr. President running away from 
The governor is what, supposed to be When you say Mr. Visit. President is running away, does he, Mr. President have to be there physically on ground to negotiate with whoever no, he needs to negotiate? Please. Is that what you're no, saying? No, that's not like, in, in your own the words, he did, send, he did send men, in, in persons of Ibe Kachuku and the rest of them, to there represent, to actually have this meeting. Because they now were, we're hearing, relevance. Indeed. Now we're hearing from the NDA and all, well, especially the NDA, that there was nothing like a ceasefire. And as a matter of fact, they're not even ready to negotiate with Nigerian government. I do not so think, where does that leave? No, please, I do not think that's a point. When the elders, when the INC said, there must be unilateral cessation of hostilities, the NDA stopped bombing. You remember there was a period. Mm -hmm. It was when they now started these aides of Mr. President. Mm -hmm. Not they were not reporting the true position to Mr. We are coming to what Mr. President. What is the true position? The true position that this issue we have on ground mm -hmm. is more dire than they are reporting. Number two, that a structured framework for development for dialogue needed to be put in place. The parameters for that dialogue needed to be put in place. The federal government needed to announce, this is our team. And I am advising for love of Nigeria and love yes. of country, yes. that if Mr. President can put rely heavily on, instead of relying on aides that are competing for relevance, why can't he rely on a governor who is also from Ijo, whom every Ijo person respects? Mm. Mm. That's Governor Siraka Dixon. Barrister Rubebe, would it be fair to say that these upheavals in the Niger Delta right now, the militancy and all of that, is as a result of the fact that a Niger Delta son lost the general election? That is, is far that, from me. Why did it not Listen, happen under Jonathan? Listen, we, the John Nation, and I was the spokesman, mm -hmm. and, and I repeat it without equivocation. Mm -hmm. We are prepared as a people to work with the government of President Muhammad Buhari to enable him to succeed that he needs to do the right things, and possibly the needful. Is he and not the doing needful, the right thing now? I do not think so. I've said we were only invited, the John Nation was only invited for a flag off when there was a military act activity going on against the people. And, and I will not accept this branding of the John people as people who love violence. It's not the true position. The true position is that the John people have been pushed to the wall. And even if at that, our kings, our traditional rulers and governors are working day and night, attending meetings to ensure that there is peace. But this is but not just about the Ijo people. They don't, there are many people within the same Niger Delta who say these Ijo's don't actually represent their interest. Please. And they're speaking out against what Has these, any Ijo the, person, you heard doing. me here, said yes. that there is a knowledge gap. There are some definitional issues. What they are reacting to is that they are part of Niger Delta. But let's, what is the true position? In 1959, as a result of the recommendation of Sir Willing's Minority Report Commission, mm -hmm. that report said that the Ijo people who occupy the neglected tract of land in the, in the, in the, in the South South Coast, they are fears that Nigeria will not protect their interests was jamming and that mm. there is a need for a Niger, special Niger Delta area proclamation which was done by Governor Sir Wilson Robertson in 1959, 3rd September, special supplement to Gazette number 56, volume 46 All right. and declared that the jaws of both the East and the West and the Ogonis form the Niger, the special Niger Delta area proclamation. All right, Dr. Please, Rubele. They just as when they refer to, when these young men say Niger Delta, mm -hmm. please, that is their definition of the Niger Delta. Or Basanjo decided to redefine the Niger Delta to spite the intelligence of the Jo people, which is today. Okay, so in your own definition, what is, what constitutes the Niger Delta? Mm -hmm. The Niger Delta is the jaws of the old Western region the eastern region, excluding Ahoda and only the Ogonis. That is the law. It's a statute that was inherited by Nigeria. It hasn't been abrogated. Are you saying then that uh, the average Nigerian who believes that the Niger Delta has to do with the, the states, 
or the areas that are oil bearing? Is that not what that the Niger Delta is? That was only a definition brought about by Oba Sanjo when he put in place the Niger Delta, the Niger Delta Development Commission Act. Please. Okay. So there right. is a misconception. Okay, fine. Okay, so be that as it may, let's go back to the issue of development. Right. The NDDC, it's there. Either we like it or not, is an act. It's there. It's, it's recognized by the law. And there are charges that go to the NDC, NDDC. There are money that comes from the vote that go to the NDDC every year. And there have been allegations that elders in the South South, for instance, tamper with such money that it doesn't even get to where it should it's get to. Would you? Would you? Well, that is that is a blatant lie, and that is false. The truth of the the truth is, the NDDC has been starved of federal supposed federal contributions, starved of federal contributions, and NDDC as a Nigerian organization has representatives from the north in the board. So if there were such things, publish them. And we are not we are not opposed to it. Publish them, but there is no such thing. But the truth of the matter you need to look at in a more at a higher level of analysis yes. is the monies that have been appropriated for projects in other areas in Nigeria has it been properly utilized? Okay. That is why we, the corruption is is is, is unacceptable, mm -hmm. and that is why we are where we are today in Nigeria. Nothing seems to be working. This funk, this, this, the, 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 the structures of government, the institutions have failed. Why are we pretending? Okay, the yes. NDDC is not outside the Nigerian matrix. But don't forget that the NDDC alone is not, is not the only intervention you know, from government. You have the amnesty, which, well, seems likely to have failed because now we have a situation where the Nigerian government is being blackmailed. Yes. And it looks like the Nigerian government is being made to look weak. They have deployed forces to the Niger Delta. The international community is saying, handle those people with care. Just dialogue with them. But the same people that, you know, government is being told to dialogue with, they're not even ready to play ball. Okay, so please. where does that leave the, the, the you, Nigerian government? Okay, for love of country, mm -hmm. even if you have not asked, let me state it yes. for the record. Yes. If I were to be advising Mr. President, Muhammad Buhari, whom we have agreed, the John Nation has agreed to work with, to make succeed. But he knows the people he's consulting, the people he's relying on. We won't force ourselves. The John Nation will not force itself on him. That's the truth, one. Number two, but for love of country, can Mr. President kindly and swiftly request the Secretary General of the United Nations, please, you've been dealing with mediation. This is probably even a mediation. I won't even call it a dialogue. Can he request from the Office of the Secretary General of the United Nations experts that have mediated other conflicts around the world? And can he rely, please make bold, forget about the political differences and invite the Governor General of the job. There is a governor, Sirake Dixon, His Excellency Sirake Dixon, mm -hmm. and say, please, can you, I want you to be behind me with these experts, representatives, perhaps observers from America, the EU, and maybe the ambassador of France to lead. And they please, gentlemen, let's sit down and talk. Then I can tell you what are even the issues Nigerians may ask you. The issues are self-determination, mm -hmm within the framework of Nigeria, and that is to give the people political space, economic space, resource control. By 1960, it was 100% from the region that produced the wealth. The region only pays tax, rents, and royalties to the federal government. Mm -hmm. That system, that revenue allocation was accepted as equitable, fair, and just to all the regions. Mm. That at that time, the mainstay of Nigeria's economy was cocoa mainly produced from the west, granuts from the north, coal from the east. When oil and gas mainly produced from the minorities 
of the South South, in particular, particular reference, the Jaws. I'm talking to. I'm only mm. talking for the Jaws. All right. Became the mainstay of the nation's economy. Gawan brought in decree number 13 to take away the role of the offshore and then derivation principle by 20%. Mm. This was further reduced by Oba Sanjo to 5%. I mean to 20%. Mm. Uh, Sheikh Shagari reduced it to 5%. President Muhammad Buhari, as a military head of state, reduced it to 1.5%. It was in that paltry state when Dakolo and Captain Emperor of blessed memory had to participate in a military coup to send a signal that Bobangida, the then president Muhammad Buhari, I mean, uh, uh, Babangida, mm -hmm. now increased it to 3%. Obasanjo refused to sign in the NDDC Act until the law that the people, uh, they, they, you know, after the mandatory so period. So it's President Buhari yes, paying for the sins of uh, their behalf. It's a young man committed when he was a military head of state. Is that what he's ripping now? Uh, well, that is not even the issue. We have decided to work with him. Okay. And the issue now is I've, I've set out the people he should contact, set the framework for dialogue. I, if I were him, call openly for three months or two months, two months period, and sit down. Now, for the love of country and what perhaps is on ground, what will it take to give the jaws political uh, self-determination that is political and economic space and resource control? Those are then. What about the issues of oil, the oil blocks? You want okay. to fight corruption? What well, about well, the illegal okay, appropriation so, uh, of oil blocks? All right, just hold on, <laughs> Barrister Rubebe. We will uh, come to all of those are right after we remind our viewers on TVC Entertainment that you can continue to watch TVC uh, Breakfast on TVC Nigeria on contact channel 190 DSTV 418. Go TV, it is 45, SCTV 510. Let's uh, continue the discussion there.